Hello my friends and welcome to the Imagine Crafts YouTube channel. Katie here and today I have some Father's Day uh, card inspiration for you and I'll be using some VersaFine Claire inks. So the colors are Warm Breeze, Twilight, and Morning Mist. And I've got, uh, I was going to make two cards but um, I kind of ran out of time so I just focused on the one today. So I have two card panels there. Um, it's just a heavyweight white cardstock. And I've got a couple stamps here that um, I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. Uh, that is the Nested Diamonds from Pink Fresh Studio, and this is the Nested Chevron. I do use the Nested Chevron in this video. I also have the Whole Lot of Awesome stamp set from Pink Fresh, and I've got the Hero Arts Dapper Dad stamp set, and I'll be using that Happy Father's Day sentiment that's in there. And here I'm just going to show you the name of the stamp set because at the time I couldn't remember what it was. But the last thing I'll be using is some alphabet dies. These are the Heather lowercase dies from Pink Fresh Studio. Now the way these pop out uh, background stamps work is you, that, that frame I just showed you, that is the rubber stamp frame that these adhere you know adhere to they come together um, and then you can tear them away from it uh, to pop the stamps out and what's nice about these types of stamps is you can easily do rainbow color you can have different color schemes like I'm doing here which is a blue gray uh, color scheme so it really just makes it a lot easier to be able to do clean simple stamping um, you know with with a rainbow of colors that you might want to use. So to use these, the easiest thing to do is to get your stamp set up like I did, adhered it to the misty door, and then I take out the stamp above the one that I want to ink up. So I remove that, I ink this one up, I'm going to uh, really burnish that stamp down onto the cardstock to make sure I get a good impression and get all that ink laid down. I do use my um, stays on all-purpose cleaner with the dauber. I absolutely love the dauber cleaners. It's ingenious. Um, and then just a baby wipe to clean everything up. And I've had no problems with my stamps using that cleaner. Before I take the one that I've inked up away, I replace the stamp that I had taken away. And then I remove the previous one. And again, remove the one that's above, ink up my stamp, and this time I'm using the Morning Mist. The first one was Warm Breeze. And you could have gone with this color scheme, just the, the turquoise and the gray. It's really pretty, uh, but I thought I'd just add in that little pop of dark blue, um, which is the Twilight. So I'm gonna ink up my stamp in the Twilight here and really burnish that down to get all that ink to adhere. Uh, it is a little splotchy in the beginning, but um, VersaFine Clairs dries so quick that uh, it will absorb right into that cardstock and or dry on the surface and really fill in those any little splotchy spots that you might have. So now I'm coming back in with Warm Breeze and then I will be coming in with morning mist. Now I do stamp on a piece of vellum coming up once I get this um, morning mist stamped up and the vellum is a 48 pound vellum so it's a heavier weight vellum and that measures three and a quarter by five inches. Now this panel measures uh, the main panel that I just stamped on measures four and a quarter by five and a half, but I do trim it down to four by five and a quarter. So there'll be a little border around our card base. Here I ink up with some stays on jet black pigment ink. Uh, it's the best when you're stamping on vellum. My favorite to stamp on vellum uh, is the regular stays on pigment ink that comes in the white containers. Uh, but mine are, I gotta get some reinkers, so I couldn't use those today. Um, here, I want, I, when I use vellum on this type of card, style card that I'm doing, I do, I keep the panel trim, so that's why the, the length is at five inches, but then I take about a quarter of an inch, 
and I do a score, which is what I'm doing here, and I flip, I do flip the vellum over so it's on the reverse side so that everything will fold nicely and have a nice clean line. Here I realized that I needed just a little bit more, and so I just go and take it down a little bit more and add another score line so that I have a nice quarter inch tab, if you will, so that I'll have enough room to put my uh, tarot tape on there. And I'm just burnishing that down. I'll make sure that everything fits okay. And then I add my tarot tape so that I can adhere it to my panel. Now, you don't have to adhere it in both directions. Like if you wanted your vellum flap to be um, loose, if you will, um, you don't have to adhere anything on the bottom. I will. Um, I'm also going to be using my alphabet dies at the bottom, uh, which would adhere it there too, but I, as an extra precaution, uh, I used my on point glue, which I really like to use on vellum because it really does dry clear. And if you're careful and you don't use a ton of it where it spreads out, um, it really, you cannot see it. So I highly recommend the on point glue when you're working with vellum uh, because it really does adhere nicely and you don't have, you know, adhesive showing through. So here I'm adding my letters. So the top of my letters, I used a shiny cream cotton cardstock. And so the surface has a shimmery texture to it. And um, I put a little bit of warm breeze and then brought in some of the twilight at the bottom and layered up those letters. So there's three layers of heavyweight white cardstock and then there's the top layer with the ink blended um, color on top. So there's actually four layers there so give a nice chipboard effect and will really make that sentiment stand out. The nice thing about masculine type cards is they can be very clean and simple. They don't have to, you know, have a ton of, you know, gems and sequins and all that stuff on there. Um, your colors that you use can really make the card stand out. And I really love the Versafine Claire's because they're nice, bold, vibrant inks um, that are perfect for masculine cards. So here I'm just adhering my double-sided tape, that's the tarot tape, and uh, adding the inside panel for that Happy Father's Day. I just used the Versafine Onyx Black ink. My card base that I'm going to adhere to is the Stormy Sky cardstock. It's a nice dark gray cardstock from Gina K, and it really does match well with that morning mist. Once I get everything together, you'll see how that blend that gray blends right in together with that uh, the part of the chevron stamp that I that I used. Um, I'm almost finished with the cards my friends and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do that now and don't forget to ring the bell and select all notifications that way you'll be notified each time a video has been uploaded. Here I'm going to give you a little up close of that shimmery uh, cardstock it really it changes the way the, the ink blends on it so I really like it it's really pretty but thanks again for joining me today I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video